Hey there, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to make what I'm going to call a barn door belly band. I'm sure everybody will be able to make one of these. They're very easy, very simple. And uh, with the farmhouse look being very popular these days, I thought this would be a cute addition to your journals. All right, what we're going to do, we're starting with four pieces that are five eighths wide and they're five and a quarter inches long i made them that way so they just be shy of the fold in your uh signature here so you've got four of those it can be a brown piece of paper whatever you might have this was like a watercolor cardstock and i sprayed it and i ran it through with the lumber um embossing folder from tim holtz i couldn't resist playing <laughs> And then we have two pieces that are seven and a half inches long, and they are also five eighths wide. So uh, we're going to trim these off though, so they're a little bit longer than they need to be, just so we can get the right uh, dimensions in there. So what we have is the two pieces are going to go this way across your page. They're about maybe an inch from the ends, and they will be butting up to the edge of the paper on the outside edge then what we'll do is we have to cut our piece that's going to be what do you call that the the, the slat that goes across the beam there and we're going to make one that's going to go like this so it looks just like a barn door now i kind of sketched in where i wanted the line to be cut and it's going to be cut right above here. I want that to be flush here. And then we wanted the other piece to be down here. And uh, be flush with the bottom of that piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of these pieces together. Back to back. So they'll be reversed. And we're going to trim that off. Oop, just like that. <laughs> then we're going to go down to this end and trim that off. Just like that. <laughs> now what we need to do is to make sure they're going to be working just like we want. We can always go in or out with our pieces if we cut it a little too short. So don't worry about that. Then what you are going to want to do is probably put like some black or brown something on the outside edge. I didn't do that with mine uh, because it's going to... Uh, I wanted to show you <laughs> but um if you have a brown piece of cardstock that you've used instead you're not going to have to worry about this step so it's just where you just rub that on there right on the edge that one kind of already got the color i sprayed it with some of my sprays and sometimes they go to the edge and through and sometimes they don't so this is all we got to do here we just want to make sure that white core doesn't show I'm hoping everybody's doing well today. I have another trip coming up <laughs> and I'm trying to get a few videos done beforehand. So I'll have something for my three days a week that I usually do for you. And um, I have some neat ideas to try to do after I get back. But I can't put my mind onto that yet until we <laughs> get done with our trip. We got to do our cemetery hunting and then we'll probably come back and do a little research and but I will make time to make me some videos to show you guys of all the crazy new stuff that floats around my head all right that is done and this is an alcohol marker but it doesn't have to be so that means it'll just dry fast <laughs> and then what I need to do is to get four and I've got little tiny ones here, brads. <laughs> if you don't have these little tiny brads, you can skip this step. But I thought it'd be kind of a cute little, little addition. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the piece that's going to be over there. Whoop, we got the wrong one. That goes on that side. This is this side. Okay, so what we're going to do is poke a hole. There are two pieces. I try to do a dead center kind of poke about right there. Actually, what we're going to do, instead of poking all the way through, we're going to poke just this one. 
then we won't have to worry about those brad legs i'm glad i thought of that before i started poking all right so what we're going to do is just go like that and see it looks like a little nail and that's all we have to do now we're going to go to this end and kind of gauge where this needs to be on this side and figure out where to poke that hole it don't have to be exact you know that old farmer's out there building his shed and he's not caring where he puts that nail as long as it holds that board up so <laughs> whoops that one <laughs> wants to make sure it goes all the way through the board though <laughs> there we go oh i had a nice trip to south carolina and uh then I get back here and it starts getting cold on me. What happened? Did summer just disappear overnight? That's weird. I mean, where I live, it usually filters away eventually, but not like presto. It may be that hurricane that's bearing down on us. I don't know. I'm going to West Virginia and we got a hurricane. Every time we go over there, there's a natural disaster. <laughs> These people are going to, like, keep us out of the state because it always follows us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Enough craziness. Um, we have that done. And one of my tricks that I do when you're doing brads is just to push it down with the flat side of your bone folder. And it helps those legs flatten out. All right. See, whoa, they did flatten out. So you just don't want anybody sticking over, but if they're still under there, we're good. All right, this side first. We're going to go ahead and glue to our wood pieces first before we go and glue down. Just to make sure we're not shorting ourselves anywhere. So what we want to do there is kind of guesstimate, I guess. If you didn't want to guesstimate, you could do like that and do a little pencil line to know exactly where your bead of glue needs to be. You know me. I'm caught in my cozy. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. All right. Now, we put that down. Let that dry. My little Barely Arts glue. It goes and dries very, very fast. So, now we want to do our next one, and it's going to be the exact opposite. Oh, I'm covering up a pretty little whorl there. That lumber embossing folder has some pretty, pretty little patterns on there, but I had to rub mine with some black, or what was that, the uh, uh, ground espresso, that's it. I had to rub over mine with ground espresso to make the pattern jump out for me. When you put oxide sprays on there, all it wants to do is like, it looks like a moldy mess. <laughs> but here we go. The mark of Zorro. <laughs> go put that on our barn door. And what we're going to do is to make sure I glue it straight for one. But we're going to just do our edges. Just the two edges. That's all it needs to be glued. Nothing else. But if you want to put you a nice bit of glue right in those spots, be my guess. Because this is all that's holding that and whatever journal cards you put on there together. So now we're going to try to get this down. On our edges. Oh, did, I, did I glue that wrong? Oof. Anyhow. You know me. I'm always going to mess up. So there's that. We'll go put that one down first. And then we're going with this one. And I think I need to readjust that. That's why I broke it off. I need to readjust where that's at. Needs to be a little bit further in. Not going to hurt a thing. Our glue is still wet on the back. Now I'm going to take that and put it in here. And get it straight. And then put it all down. There. See? No harm, no foul. Okay. Now if you wanted to be fancy and you had more of these little nails, you can put one on the end of these two. 
but we're not going to worry about that. <clears throat> and if you didn't have little nails like this, but you wanted that look, you can get a metal, um, what are they? A metal pen. Uh, it has silver or gold or whatever in the actual pen. You can use that. That, that works great. All right, we're going to go ahead, since we know where we want these, I'm going to go ahead and go first with the two bars that go horizontal. Yeah, I've done that before. I've had a casket I made last year. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> it's one of our things, you know, cemetery hunting and all. But, um... I wanted to have the look of nails and didn't want to use all these so I just went in and did a little silver uh, round spot and I came back in and did a little black on the edge of it looked just like a nail <laughs> did the job for me looked good and you want to try to get these bars as close to parallel with each other as possible you know, going in the same straight line. So we got that going. And now we want to put our bar coming across like this. And we got to figure out where our glue is going to go. And your safest bet is just to go in a narrower swath than what I was doing. Just so it's covered up, but still the glue gets on there. Kind of like that, and I'll put a big dot in the middle, so it'll spread for me. All right. Now I gotta go down. There we go. Now, if you wanted it to stick over a little bit too, kind of like this one, that's fine, because that actually <laughs> is the way a lot of them are on the old barn doors. So that'll just give you a more authentic look. So, if it's perfect, it's not realistic, <laughs> especially with this type of look. All right, I think all of our ends are down, making sure, just poke, 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 push, make sure. Now, just remember when you fold it up, that mill section, <clears throat> if you wanted to cover it and have this as your center of your signature, you may want to go all the way across with this. So that would probably be five and a half, but we made ours five and a quarter. So just saying, you could <clears throat> extend that little bit going across there. It's just, this was so thick. I didn't want to bind that up from folding. Okay, so that part is done. Now, if you wanted to come in here and have your pretty little word on part of your barn door like that, like creativity, this one page from um, Farm Market Blue, or flower market blue, I'm sorry, from the journal boat. Had all of this on the one page. Now see, I thought this milk bottle, since it's a barn door, was perfect. You're just going to go up through there like that and put your little milk bottles in there. You can come in from the side um, and have you a little guy like that. He doesn't have to be very big. You can put them in at an angle. You have all kinds of ways and means. You can put them over top of the boards, yet under the other. I thought it was just kind of a neat concept. You had all, there's the farmer. <laughs> you had all different ways to go in there and put things. So I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, let me know if you make these. And everybody have a great day. Thank you.